Ευχαριστούμε πολύ τον κύριο Νικολόπουλο. Ε, η επόμενη ομιλία μας είναι Anatomy of a Cyber Attack. Forensics made simple with artificial intelligence. Okay. Από την ε, κυρία Τζοάννα Βζιατεκ, Sales Engineer, Sophos. Please. Good afternoon. My name is Joanna Wzentekwatos. I live in Poland, in Warsaw. That's why I cannot speak any Greek. I work for Sophos for 10 years. I, my expertise is endpoint protection together with security in the cloud, security of the cloud, and I'm an expert in terms of the machine learning. And machine learning is the topic that I would like to discuss today. But before I start, I would like to ask you whether you know how old already is artificial intelligence together with machine learning? I can bet that you don't know that artificial intelligence that we are discussing today is already 90 years old. 19 years. And I will prove it to you, but before we go to that, I would like you to imagine that we are back in the 30s, in the 30s of the previous century, before the Second World War has broke out. The Polish people in Warsaw, they found out in the 30s that the Nazis, they are starting to encrypt the messages. They were encrypting the messages with the device that you can see on that slide. That's the Enigma device. And one of the mathematicians in Poland, in the 30s, in the 1930, he, for the very first time, broke the encryption code generated by Enigma. Why this is important? Because that information was known also to French, to British, to all the other nations. But the British and the French, who really wanted to find out what the Nazis are sending in those messages, they hired linguistic people, because they believed that maybe there is a correlation in those signs, in those letters. So maybe someone who speaks many languages will be able to, will be able to find out the answer. They were hiring people who were good at crosswords, who were good at Czech, at playing chess, but none of them, until the 1939, hired any mathematician. And now we know that without mathematics, we cannot do anything about encryption, about computers, about all the world that we are working in. So it all started in 1939, when the Polish Rejewski, who broke out the Enigma code, had to move to UK because of the war. Then he started working together with the British to find out the solution to that. Today, we would say that they were working on a brute force attack because they were looking to find all the possible keys that were generated by that, by that enigma. Why I'm telling you all this information? Why the history here is important? Because that's when the artificial intelligence started. The artificial intelligence is something that we hear all over recently. But what it really is, this is the method, how to teach the computer to resemble our human brain how to teach the computer to behave as we behave. And this is like teaching the children. When the child is born, the child doesn't know the language, the child doesn't know the colors, he or she doesn't even know how to speak, how to say that he or she is hungry or whether he or she is sleepy. And the same attitudes is used to the computers. So what the scientists are doing, they try to teach the computer. Before we go any further, the deep learning is the most common and the most used methodology of machine learning, of artificial intelligence. Have a look at those pictures. There are some bagels to eat and there are some sleeping dogs. Could you please distinguish which of these are for eating and which are the sleeping dogs? Here is the solution. 
So on the left side, you see the sleeping dogs, whereas on the right side, there are the bagels that you can eat for the breakfast. Was it difficult for you? Does it take a lot of time to solve that puzzle? Probably not, because you have seen so many dogs before, and you may have a role every day for the breakfast. But if you give the same puzzle to the computer, would it be fast? Would it be achievable? Alan Turing, the one during the Second World War that was breaking the Enigma code of the Nazis, he said in his book in 1950 that he will, is sure that in the 21st century we will have artificial intelligence. And he was the author of the very first computer, of the very first computer that was able to think, that was able to solve puzzles like the one that I just gave you with the dogs and the, um, the bagels. Artificial intelligence these days is used almost everywhere. That's why I'm talking about it. So do you know Tinder? The, uh, that's the dating application. So what is the user is being asked for choosing whether he likes someone or doesn't. And that's the way how he, how the end user is learning and teaching the algorithm. The same algorithm is being used by the company called Zalando, which does the online shopping. You are being offered the things that you have chosen, that you like, that you spend more time. This is the way how the algorithm learns and how it gives you the proper results. The same with Netflix. So this is the application for watching movies. The movies that you are being offered, they are not there because out of nothing. They are because you have chosen, you have picked up some titles that may like to you, and this is the way the algorithm learn. And finally, Google. Google is using the machine learning to the advertisements. That's why when you are looking for a car, if you are looking for a holiday, then on the very next day you see all the advertisements connected to it. That's the reason why many people, many vendors, use the machine learning to prevent, to make our world safer, easier, the life easier for the IT managers. At Sophos, we do endpoint protection for 30 years. That's why we have a huge laboratories and we have a huge number of samples. We have taken 500 million samples and we treated them with the labels. So this is called the supervised mode of the deep learning methodology. So we labeled each of those 500 million samples and we teach the algorithm how to distinguish the bad things from the normal good things. What does it mean for you? What does it mean for you as an end user, as a director of the IT? It means that you can sleep safely, that nothing will happen because if there is a file which hasn't been seen before, which is new, which may appear, and even though my predecessors were mentioning that the prevention is the very first thing, we know that sometimes the prevention devices fail and we got the file that haven't been seen before and therefore the deep learning engine that saw already 500 million samples can decide whether this file is bad or whether this file is good. And that decision is made between a second for you. You don't have to do anything in here. Do you recognize that slide? This is not Petya. It was mentioned already by my predecessor. Everyone has a protection but there are so many people who still deal with ransomware. NatPetya started in Ukraine and spread it around all over the world because no one, nearly no one, was able to stop it. And here I would like to underline one thing. None of Sophos customers who was having Intercept X never heard of NatPetya. Our customers have read 
in the internet about NatPetya, about WannaCry. Because we use machine learning, because that machine learning prevented our customers from millions of losses in their companies. I wouldn't be in the shoes of that IT manager or any other person who came in the morning to the company and was not able to work because the computers were encrypted and the data was gone. NatPetya costed millions, millions of dollars. Here are some headlines, here are some data. How much does it cost it and how much it was? Let's have a look at Maersk. That's a huge company. And that NatPetya break costed them $275 million. Do you know how much money this is? How much would it be? This Boeing Dreamliner, the newest one that Boeing is doing, cost $230 million. So Maersk could just go to Boeing and just buy this aircraft and they will still have some money left. We are talking about such a huge money that can be lost without a proper protection. So what does the Intercept X does? It prevents you, it helps you to make your life easier and safer thanks to the deep learning. If there is a file, if there is um, a, 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 any folder, any information on your computer that might be malicious, that malware will be recognized, will be targeted, and will be blocked. And this is how the dashboards looks like. So the machine learning, the artificial intelligence, is responsible for this part. It will automatically e identify all the files that can be malicious. These events can be examined, but this is not everything. On the right side of the slide, there is a thread search. You can have a look for the IP addresses, for the file names, for the hashes of those files. In terms of NatPetya that I just mentioned, the file that were, pro that were active on the computers, they were there since April. But NatPetya breakout was actually in September. So the files were there, but no one was able to identify them. Thanks to that solution, thanks to the automated endpoint detection and response, you, as the IT managers, are able to have a look on the other computers in your network and check whether you are, there are some files that might be suspicious, that may create a huge loss in your company in terms of the money. If you like graphics, then you have the whole root cause analysis. If you pick up any of those events that were picked up by the machine learning, by the artificial intelligence. And the most important thing, on the top right corner, there is the machine where that sample was found with the IP address. Then on the right side, you see the root cause of that analysis. This is Windows Explorer, so someone just found that file somewhere. And here is the file. That is actually the file that generated that problem. That is the malware that we were looking for. The most important information for you, that it was detected. That it was detected, that was stopped, and now you can have a look on the other computers whether there is such a malware sample somewhere in your network. Of course, I have some other examples although there are some suggested steps that you can take as an IT administrator. And the very important step is here. Isolate this device. Sophos Intercept X, together with EDR, with Endpoint Detection and Response, automatically detects and isolates the computer that has malware on it. What do you do if you have a flu? You stay home. If your kids are having flu or a runny nose, the teacher at school says, your kid has a please keep it home because it, the virus may spread. 
we should do exactly the same in network uh, com com computers. If we isolate the computer with viruses, the viruses will not spread. If not Petya computers were isolated, they will not spread all over the world. It would never happen. That's why we isolate automatically the computers. This is another example how it works. And again, you see where it started, what was the root cause, and then you see the result, that it was found and it was cleaned. If we look further, there are some bubbles. So here is the root cause. Here is the file that was actually generating all these things here that we can see. And those yellow things are the malicious files that the reputation is not clear. And if you would like to have a closer look at those files, we can do that thanks to the machine learning, thanks to the artificial intelligence that I'm talking about. And here are the results. There were, you can't probably see that properly, but there were like 25 thousands samples that were malicious found on in the world with that result. There is the code similarity to other files that has different names. And finally, the files and the path to those files that you can have a look. I want you to remember that in order to win against machines, you need to have the same machine. You need to have the same equipment, the same bullets. The thing that you can see behind me, this is a Rayevsky bomb. So this is the computer that was generated before the Second World War that was able to broke the Enigma code. And now we need to have a similar weapon to break the NatPetya, WannaCry, and all the other new ransomware that comes. And to achieve it, we need to use the similar weapon. That's why the machine learning is so much important. I will be here to the end of the day. If you have any questions in terms of the artificial intelligence, if you would like to have a trial, a free trial, if you would like to see the demo of that console, please come to our stand and let's have a conversation. Thank you very much for your attention.